So today I just want to quickly go over how to do door and window tags. And basically what we start with is um, the tool palette here. Now there's several ways to do this. This is the way I like to do it and then I'll show you the optional way next. So open up the tool palette and um, you know you have your options here where to go. It's under document and I find the door tag window and pick on the door tag. Now basically we start with the front door, always start with the front and uh, tag it. It's going to say um, this little window here and it's going to ask you for a number. The front door is always 101. Hit OK. Now if you look at the command line it's going to ask for multiple. And here's our opportunity to really speed things up. We're going to hit M for multiple and then we're going to drag, right click and drag a window I'm sorry, that was left click and drag a window around the whole floor plan. Then hit enter. Uh, it's asking if we want to tag the front door again. We say no. And it's, then it's asking us for numbers. Um, now if they were all the same, you could just hit one on one, but that's not the case. We're going to do them individually. So just hit OK and that box will go away. Uh, basically, you see that everything has been tagged and it just does it random and automatic. So we have to go back and move things and renumber them. So basically you just uh, click on it, move it out of the way. So you can see it, you know, someplace logical, that would make sense um, like that. And uh, so the second step that I like to do is these are too big. Um, we're gonna have to shrink them down a little bit. So basically I would go up to my um, select a layer button and click on it and it isolates it completely. What we'll do then is just grab a giant window around it. Um, and if you go to your properties, is it coming up on here? No. Go to uh, the properties, select the window, go to your properties box, and you'll see the X for the scale dimension. Drop that down to 0.8. And that's great. We'll just slide that out of the way so we can get back. So that should have scaled it down. Go back up, turn all the layers back on, the layer manager, and that looks a little bit better, more manageable. So the next step is go back to our uh, tool palette and we'll hit renumber data tool. And here you can see you could select doors or windows. So obviously we're working on doors. We're gonna select the front door 101 and that's just easy front door 101. Then what I like to do is all the exterior perimeter doors first. So the next door over to the right is 102. And this one hiding back here is 103. Obviously we'll move that one when we get the opportunity in a second. The next door is 104. Okay, again, it's conflicting with the dimensions, but we'll move either one out of the way in a minute. And basically you get the idea. We'll find the next exterior door 105. And I'll stop there for now just for the sake of uh, speed. And so you get the idea of that. So next what I want you to do is go down to the window schedule. Highlight it and right click. And it'll say selection. And basically we want to add all those doors in. So we'll click add. We'll go back and highlight the floor plan. And we did select it all and it's all there. Now some are question marks and we've got to go back and figure out what, what, what those are, what's wrong with it. Maybe it's just the door style, um, but that's an easy fix. So that should get you started um, doing it that way. Now let's back up a little bit and do, uh, and start over. So in the second way, I know how to do it. And of course, there's always multiple ways how to do things in AutoCAD. Let's go back to the construction plan. Okay. So if you go up to your top menu, uh, click on and we'll find, uh, where is it? Annotate, I believe. Door, yes, here it goes. Door tags under scheduling, door tag. Okay, we could select that and just select the top one. It's just first, this is a door tag. Now you can select it. Now this one, say 101. You can go and individually select each one and it gives you the opportunity to renumber them 
however you'd like. Uh, stick with the numbers, of course. And this is interior, so it'll probably be like a 112 or something. But that's another way to do it. I think my way is a little bit faster. Um, you still have to go back and shrink them um, to the right scale by isolating the layer and changing the scale down to 0.8. So that's the, that's the way to do door tags. It's very similar with the window tags. Let's try that quick. Here we go, window tag on the tool palette. And we'll go start with the front window. Select, and that'll just be a one, okay? And now same issue here, we can type in multiple. If you see down on the command line, it gives you the multiple. So we type M, enter, left click and select everything and one was already tagged yes we do not want to tag it again no and of course it changed it gives you the option to change all the numbers to the same we don't want to do that so just hit ok and that's it they're all tagged now so same thing again we can go back and renumber um, first let's change the scale again you know uh, isolate the layer and this one I believe should be just changed to a five if we bring over the uh, properties box we could see we tag it and the display it says five I'm sorry it's six currently but let's just change it to five all of those to five and it shrinks it down into a much better place so bring up the renumber tool again and this time we select windows and we start with one and let's just randomly pick we could do one two see how you could just select each one and it changes automatically so that's the way I do it. Um, I'm sure there might even be a third way. I'm not really sure. I'm going to go back and just delete that for a sec. Let's try, uh, I've never tried this one, annotate the window tag here. One, and yeah, same thing as the door. So you can change, you can number them individually. Whatever is easier for you to do it. Um, you know, just going around and clicking or doing each window tag separately. It's your choice, um, but I think it's faster the other way. Uh, that's it, and thanks.